Hi everybody, hope you're all enjoying some time at home with your family. Today I'm going to read you a story called Simon Sock and this is one of Arthur's favourites. Simon Sock, will he ever be part of a perfect pair? Let's find out. Simon is extremely stripy. He lives in the sock drawer with all the other socks. It's very cosy in there. Every morning, all the socks in the drawer get very excited. Who will it be today? Then in comes the hand. Pick me, pick me. Everybody waits, holding their breath. And two socks get picked to go on an adventure. The sparklies go to parties. The woolies go to the park. The smarts go to school. And the sporties go for the burn. Ready, steady, go. Everyone has a turn. Everyone except Simon. I'm not a smelly sock and I'm not a holy sock. Why don't I ever have a turn? Because you're odd, says Spotty. The other Spotty agrees. Yes, you only get picked if you're a pair. Oh, I didn't realise I was odd, said Simon. Maybe the Spotties are right. If only I was a pair. We could skate, we could bounce, we could hula. We could have so much fun, said Simon sadly. I've got it, shouts Ted, jumping to his feet. I've got a friend and he's stripy just like you, Simon. Come on, he lives in the hall. Simon, this is Alphonse. Alphonse, this is Simon. And everything was going well until in walked Petra. Oh, silly me, said Ted. I forgot they were already a pair. Don't worry though, Simon. I have another stripy friend. Simon, meet Shirley, said Ted hopefully. Sss. Shirley was very excited. Simon was a little bit nervous. Squeeze. I'm not sure about this, Ted, said Simon. Hmm, what about Desmond, said Ted. But Desmond just stared. He's not very chatty, is he, said Simon. No, not really, replied Ted. But we can't give up now. I have lots of stripy friends. What about Bobby? But I can't swim, whispered Simon. Deborah the stripy bug? She's very tiny, Ted. I might step on her. What about Jeff, said Ted. He's very musical. He's very noisy. Hattie? Too chatty. Trevor? No way. Well, you'll be pleased to know I've saved the best until last, said Ted proudly. Simon, meet Mr. Twinklepaws. No! Simon had had enough. It's no good, Ted. I just need to get used to being an odd sock, he said sadly. But then he heard a voice. It was coming from under the drawers. Simon couldn't believe it. I found you, he cried. We're a pair. We can skate, we can bounce, we can hula. Come on, said Simon, let's go out and play. But Simone had other ideas. Oh, I like going out, said a voice. Betty gave Simon a wave and Simon waved back. I like playing, said Betty. So they skated and they bounced and they hula hooped. Everyone had to admit that even though they didn't match, they really did make a great pair. I hope you enjoyed Simon Sock. Tomorrow's story will be the superstar cow.